The Pacific Maritime Program in the region has been on for three decades under the protection of Australia. Commodore Steve Woodall of the Australian Defence Force says there are three components related to Pacific Maritime Security Program, first of which is the replacement boats known as the Guardian Class Patrol Boats. PNG will receive the first class which are more capable, has greater endurance and with much more sea keeping capabilities. In the maritime space clearly focused around the arrival of the first of the Guardian Class Patrol Boats uh, in December of this year. That is really a fundamental change. These, these assets are more capable than the current Pacific Patrol Boats. Longer range, greater endurance, much more effective sea keeping ability and will provide the opportunity for mixed gender crewing at sea. These vessels are designed for both men and women to live and operate on board and we're very pleased to work with the PNG Defence Force to try and allow that to happen going forward. Commodore Woodall says the second component of Pacific Maritime Security Program is the surveillance and fixed wing aerial surveillance. In regards to the aerial component, the Australian Defence Force signed a contract with a company called Technology Service Cooperation to provide aerial surveillance in the Pacific. At the moment we're in the introductory phase, we're doing some assessments on airfields and we're doing some trials with a Cessna aircraft they have. Um, within the, uh, by the end of this year, we will have two King Air aircraft, much longer range, with a, uh, a purpose-built sensor suite that has a maritime radar. It has the ability to take both still and video footage uh, that can be used in a court of law. Uh, and it has um, sensors on it like uh, AIS for detecting ships, the vessel management, management system that the FFA use for identifying fishing vessels. So a really much more sophisticated surveillance capability than we've ever had before. Still in development stages in 2019, two available aircrafts will provide up to 1400 hours of aerial surveillance per year with one aircraft available 365 days a year on standby for aerial emergencies. Commodore Woodall says while Pacific Maritime Security Program is the only available program in the region, more developments will be implemented due to the increasing illegal activities and transnational crimes in the Pacific. At the moment, by example, the military, the Australian Defence Force through our Royal Australian Air Force provide around 300 hours of surveillance to the Pacific region a year. So a significant increase on what we currently do. The operational control of those aircraft will be given to the Foreign Fisheries Agency because it has the regional fisheries surveillance centre and so countries will be able to bid for aerial surveillance ideally in conjunction with patrol boat operations so you've now got a much more efficient method of doing surveillance. You've got aircraft with a, a patrol boat able to respond if they detect activity that might be suspicious. Godwin Eki, National MTV News.